Do the planets and stuff have something to do with it? Yeah, planetary alignment is, of, of course. course. <laughs> <laughs> the harmonic convergence approaches. And again, because the effects, the timer on the on magic, on time-based map. Oh, look at that sneaking! Look oh. at that! Oh! That is what a smooth motherfucker! Come on! <laughs> look at that sneaking! I love it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> that just tickles me so much. Oh! Was that a flying book? That was. Did we like enter it's Hogwarts no at some point? Uh, no consequence. They're just is a flying book. All right. That's just one That's of just the things life. that happens in the creepy haunted mansion. You just, you have to take things at face value. Yeah. Accept things. Oh, can we get into that yet? Yeah, because now we can dispel the magic. Yes. Oh, it's changed too, because it broke that one time. <laughs> the revolver and guy. Yes, it, it, it broke back in Max's day, but now it's, it, it has since been repaired and but it, it has- But it's a different image. Yeah. In Max's day, it was like a red circle at the top. Yes. Well, because now it's the now it's version a lady. Of, the, of the woman holding the what is actually the chapter page. How does she get that? It was enchanted there somehow. I, I don't... No, I mean, oh. It's like, because it was floating above her head. I'm like, did she jump to grab it? Or... Oh. Master, your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition, paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancient's corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral, for everyone was suspect. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be, but deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. Paul, get the hell out of there. You are completely out of... And now he's Philippe Augustine. 
Is no one catching this pattern? <laughs> well, in their defense, it is over the course of 2,000 years of history. So, like... Eh. This is like the doctor showing up uh, yeah, in different really places, is. He's just like, dressed in different clothes. Like, like, it's the same dude. For the love of God! God! Help! Come quickly! A murder! A murder most foul! What heresy is this? I... I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah. Is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But... Hold your tongue, Franciscan. Or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, then you will have nothing to fear. Like, what is this dark sorcery that I am also using because <laughs> I possess the evil book? It's, it's, it's a little weird. Well, he's a monk that now possesses an evil book. He's gonna... Yeah, or is about to possess an evil... Oh, yeah, the, dar the darkness is... The brightness is turned down a little bit on this video. It will not be on the final product, but... But, yes, it's a very grumpy-looking lo man. <laughs> it's not a holy man. That is a grumpy man. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing there. Yeah, I'm confused. What, what are you what? looking for? I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Shiny. Steal the shiny. Yep. That is, in fact, the way to trigger the cutscene that will allow you to move forward. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. We can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later. And I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely hunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. Yep. Face war. Not even phased by the screaming faces. I'm t starting to doubt your monkhood. No, he really shouldn't. I was gonna say, for a holy man, he is... Yeah, he is just not... <sighs> yep. Yeah, well. Okay, well... He really should, though. He should leave the cathedral. <laughs> Who cares if the evil people want to say that you're guilty? Get out of there, dude. Yeah, dude. It's a way better life. A way better death, I should say. That than 
this insane quest. Yeah. But you dying fast would not entertain us as much, so move well, along, sir. Yeah. Ooh, can't do anything to the zombie yet, so except punch him. And that's very not holy. <laughs> it's a very unholy thing for a monk it's to do. Very unmonk like. Just to punch the the living dead. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we go to to ring the bell so that we can have a little powwow with the custodian. I don't know why we couldn't just have the powwow with the custodian when we were locked in the cell. That's like a... Like, I don't know why we need to wait. It's like a super important custodian. You gotta ring the bell to get him. Do you have a hunchback? Well, I mean, it's normally his, his job to ring the bell, but, you know, he knows. He knows what's up. Ah, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here, in the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. So now we have the key to the old tower. Um, you may notice that this cathedral looks entirely different from when we were visiting as Anthony. That is because this is a separate building. Okay. The old chapel, that's the old tower, which we just got the key to. Right. You'll recognize that is th the main building of where we were as Anthony. Okay, this place is big and grand. Ooh, look at that. Too much time on their hands. You're supposed to be worshipping God. <laughs> well, that's it. They're, they're, they're worshipping God. They don't have time on their hands. Why didn't I... I... I grab it on the way back, but I don't know why I didn't grab that torch that was very conspicuously not a part of the background. Anyway, this room just has a couple things you need to pick up in it. Aww. Crossbow! Crossbow! That it's is kind of upsetting that he doesn't kick it open like Zelda. I mean, uh, Link. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that would not be very that would not be very monk-like. He's not doing many things very monk-like. <laughs> it's true. You should just embrace his like rebel heart. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Fuck God, I do what I want. Heresy carnal deviant acts <laughs> oh my does that person have like a snake body i think so that's Excellent. what it looks like yeah so we have the crossbow and we have the podium key um we don't really no there are a couple times when we need the crossbow never mind i was gonna say that that like <sighs> the crossbow isn't really that necessary i mean the melee weapon is always more essential than the ranged weapon. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's... Oh, yes, this is a fun thing. Meditation rods, even though we have access to magic, for the purpose of character building, we're given meditation rods which completely restore sanity. Yeah. Like, even if you were at no sanity, you can restore it all the way just by using the item, which is nice because then you don't have to expend magic. In fact, I, I'm, if I remember correctly, I... Hmm. So strange. Uh, I'm pretty sure I use a 
um, uh, one of them just to, to show it off. Okay, but I have the key. Use, use the key. Ooh. Diary page. <laughs> Again. <laughs> what does it say? Well, here you are. Poor deceased brother Andrew. Mm. Rip in peace. This so the hand of Jude is not a real thing, but it's based on a real phenomenon mm -hmm. where, um, like often to build up their own status and make themselves more important and increase basically the equivalent of tourism, mm -hmm. a lot of medieval churches like would claim to have such and such artifacts yes that were yeah so the hand that of, I know. the hand of jude is like is just a play on that notion okay like oh we have this hand of this saint exactly yes which i did not know that that, that is was one of the things i learned about in catholic school okay surprisingly they weren't too big on teaching us about the church's corruption but right i had a great history teacher that didn't give a fuck <laughs> Yeah, that was not a thing that I... And here they, they explain the forging of ancient relics to... Um, but I did not know that this was uh, a real thing until this game. And I was like, oh, that's that's a thing. I just did not know about that part of If someone claims to have history. Jesus' shroud... Right, yeah. Um, or they'll have, like, bone fragments of somebody else. And yeah. Yeah, Cuthbert's jawbone, thigh bone flute of Connaught. <laughs> I, the I, game makes it way better than, like, the actual stories. Yeah. It's all sort of, it's like, it's, they're, they're all, like, second string. Ooh. Um, the, it, it's, it, they're like second string holy grails. It's like you got the big ones, like the Holy Grail and the Lance of Longinus, so like the big ones. And then like everything else, you're just like, well, they're not going to believe that we have the Holy Grail, but like, we could have a thing belonging to a famous dude who wasn't Jesus. Right. Ah, yes, and there's an organ. But. They're we will... creepy. Yep. I mean, I know they belong in a church, so it's not like it's out of place, but. Base. Still creepy. And that is our melee weapon. Thank goodness, because, Fitting. because you know, pri in everything prior to uh, to the twentieth century, in all the chapters that are set prior to the twentieth century, guns are worthless, oh, or I'm firearms are mostly worthless. Like they're good for taking out trappers mm -hmm. because you need to hit them from far, but otherwise, I love crossbow. Crossbow is fun. Ugh. Ew. Yep. What was that one doing? That's that's how a bone thief gets inside a body. Oh, was it trying to get they inside just, your they body? They just they dig. No, that, that that's inside an, uh, another monk. Oh. Okay. So a, a bone thief just dug its way into his flesh. No. Yeah. All aboard the nope train. Yeesh. And the thing is, they will sometimes, they will attempt to do that to you. Like, there will be, like, bone thieves, if you let, like, if you, if it takes long enough for you to kill them, they'll jump on you and you have to, like, waggle the stick to what shake if, them off. What if you off. don't? What would happen? Uh, insta-kill. Oh, but like, it, if you, you don't after see it, if you s like, trying to, you wouldn't see no, it going inside you? Yes, you do, actually. Oh. And in fact, that that's in one of the later videos. Okay, I, show I was gonna that say, off. like, please tell me you, you've recorded that. Those, those sounds sound familiar. Hmm. Which ones? I didn't hear them. There was some groaning sounds. Oh no! Terminator? For yeah, Anthony has become the Terminator. <laughs> no! He really just had such a shitty life. And now he's so he's being resurrected for all time, and he's got the sword. Oh, poor Anthony. Which hurts because Paul is not very fast because he's just a monk. He's not a warrior. Yeah. 
so you basically just need to play hit and run. Oh. And one more time. Oh yeah, cause... he doesn't respawn infinitely. You can, you do eventually kill him, and hopefully, I like to imagine that you kill him for good. I like to uh, to to think that to give poor him Anthony some sort of a happy ending or a complete ending or an ending. An ending, yeah. Oh, poor Anthony. Yep. He was just trying to protect his king. Yeah. A lot of well, people he shouldn't getting, have. Bit, getting dicked over. <laughs> so we got the ruby that was his eye, and we have the two-edged two sword. Yeah. And I think... I, tr I tried to see... It doesn't seem like a big difference, but I've heard people say that there is. And I can't quite find it, but that Paul... Because Paul is bigger than Anthony, mm -hmm. he wields the two hand the 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 two-edged sword uh the, um, more yeah more easily than than anthony does because anthony's just a sh and paul's not a warrior but he but He's anthony's a little shrimpy dude yeah and and paul's a little bigger built but i'm not sure if that's true it's not a huge difference um but it i th there might be some i need to look at like side by side more cohesively um Comprehensively. Musical notes. <laughs> yeah, and here's flavor text for like the mace and stuff. Mace is good, but you know, sword is bigger. <laughs> sword sword has a greater reach and and it can, you know, chop people and or zombies in two. So that's that's just good. See, the thing, it's never explicitly stated this way, but you need to collect the three diary pages of Brother Andrew and the Book of Requ Rel 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 Reliquaries, um, because you need to collect all of the evidence right. that proves that there is s scary shit happening, and then return to the, the custodian. Okay. Now, Anthony's done for now? We don't yeah. see him again. Well, I mean, all, uh, ghosts come back more later, but that's that's Anthony's big post uh, post death scene cameo, yeah. And there's a fun Easter egg with that 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 I won't spoil because it's it's a lot of fun actually. Um, but I'll show it off in one of the in in the uh, one of the new game plus videos. Now that we have the sword, we can chop ourselves up some motherfuckers. So, I, I didn't actually mention this during uh, Chapter 5, but um, you can start the fighting earlier, like as Max, because you're given a gun right from the, the get-go, right. and you can sh like just attack your servants... And the ones that are inhabited by bone thieves mm -hmm. will start attacking you then. Like others, the ones that, that aren't, like, they'll break cover once you attack them. Right. And, the, and then all of the other uh, bone thief servants will, like, attack you. Will, like, home on you and be all like, he knows. <laughs> all right. We... See any dwarves in there? <laughs> No, just yep. checking. There looks like there's twelve of them. Yeah, or ten maybe. Ah, this one is hollow. Sure, why not? be sad every time that sound doesn't happen when I open a door. <laughs> yeah, it's it's such a satisfying sound. It's like when the doors sigh on the, the heart of gold. Yeah. Another horror, but we are invisible. The one thing, the other thing about being invisible is that, like, 
as you can see, like, there's static laser electricity thing crackling throughout Horror's bodies. That will still hurt you. Well, yeah, because you're also running into that. Yeah, like, if you stay nearby, like, if you play hit and run, like, like how we did with Anthony, mm -hmm. you can avoid that. But even though the horrors won't attack you, the the static magic stuff will. Right. Which, fortunately, just did damage to our magic meter. Should be waiting for something. Hmm. And there's three of them, I wonder. This is a pattern. Red, blue, green. Put the things in the slots. <laughs> Yup. <laughs> yes, I appreciate that you had that nice musical sting going, but I'm going to interrupt it with my visit to the menu. Smack. Yeah, and see, even though they can't see you, their heads still turn to follow you. Uh. I know. Need to kill this one, because he has a rune. But la 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 la. Invisible. Yeah, and zombies, some zombies, when you are just, are like lying on the ground. Oh, it's a red horror. Yeah. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> yeah, fighting red horrors is a pain in the butt. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I was doing that. But yeah, so zombies that are just lying on the ground will not... They only, like, rise when when they see you. So if you're invisible, they just won't even get up off the ground. So there. <laughs> I'm gonna in 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 videos after this I'm gonna cut more of like when there's like long tedious enemy encounters with enemies you've already seen, I'm gonna cut that stuff out. Right. Uh, th there'll be less of that in future videos. Um oh. No, that's not Oh, all right. I was hitting the torch. Oh. <gasps> Is he actually dead? Not yet. <laughs> yeah, and they and and then they act like it's a big surprise when Paul finds the custodian to actually be dead. I'm like, "Whoa." Dude, that inscription. We just found his coffin. Yeah, the the inscription on that thing that said that you may only pass when you have sacrificed your friend was right. kind of specific, and it had the custodian's face on it. It's so like it's bit. leaving him all the directions. Yeah. And Chaturga zombies. So good thing we're invisible. They ain't not even getting up. I hate those zombies. And I'm not even playing. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm feeling secondhand hate. Yep, no pressure plate puzzle this time. You just push it inward. It's got the power. Dun 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 Yes! Set them on fire. I love it. Yeah, that's the one way in which the Zelotath run is is just straight up easier than, for instance, the Uliath run. Mm -hmm. Even though you, the Uliath run on the whole is, I think, is um, uh, e easier. Um, but the one thing is that, like, you can just have the torch and just go through and just mow your way through all the Zelotath zombies. Right. <laughs> You just whack, 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 move on. Yep. 
Yes, now we, we now we start to get into the the essences, um, part of the of the story. Um, so each of you know the essences are the three things that we chose between and as pious okay. at the end of the thing. Um, those are the the essences of the three ancients, and then the fourth one is of course is the heart of Mantarok. Um, and you. And, you know, in order to fight the... Uh, and so we, we, we need to... We'll, we'll be sort of... In di- each in different locations exists each of the... Of the, the essences. Okay. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Fast forward. Because there's a lot of backtracking in this level, too. Run away. Run away. Yep. Now we get to play the organ. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Influence, of course. And since we have the, then you just you just press the buttons. There were more organ music in this <laughs> in this in this game. There's there, there's really not. It's lacking in. I mean, the music's already pretty creepy as is. But I know, but it's church. You awesome. need more organ music. Yeah, and I mean, you you play the organ again the next time you you come to this level, um, and here. I mentioned circles of power before, and now we are able to use five point spells. Yes. Except, or wait, hold on. Uh, was in track of what we, what we Yeah, yeah. Power up. And so that was the final rune that we got. That we weren't because we collect so many runes and codexes and stuff, but um, uh, the, the final rune to unlock, we have now unlocked all the runes, and the final one is Pargon. Okay. You expect to hear voices saying Pargon a lot, because Pargon, you, you can only combine two runes plus the alignment rune in a spell, so, like, for five and seven point spells, it's just adding Pargons. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants of his journal, and it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I, too, suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well. Claiming that the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude, was stored here, he had those who came to see it murdered. The Hand of Jude never existed. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morn. It can only mean one thing. I know too much, and they are moving to silence me. I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther, for that's all you have. And if you decide to go back to investigate that, or wait, hold on. Oh, first I examine the knife. (laughs) Used to sacrifice humans. Hint, hint. (laughs) 
kind of sad that you can't use this as like a weapon. Right. It's pretty. It's weird. Like like um. Like later on, you you find a pickaxe in the mansion as Alex, and I'm like, why can't you use that as a weapon? I mean, you don't need to. <gasps> Custodian's gone. Where go? He disappeared. It. Yep. No. Do I fast forward this again? I think I fast forward this again. No, no, wait. I show off the view from up here. You can look down. That's neat. That's pretty. Yeah. Just a little, little touch. Little touch. Peer all the way over the side. Do not fall. No. more fast forwarding because so much backtracking <laughs> and in later videos I, I just start cutting backtracking out altogether but in these videos it's kind of it's good to remember the layout of of the way things are yet yeah, trappers can see through invisibility that's the other it, that's the only thing keeping invisibility from being completely boringly broken right. is that trappers because trappers don't see you anyway they don't have eyes they hear you i got caught by a trapper but just that visit to the trapper dimension was not interesting so it, it it's cut out <laughs> oh god in the final video in video 12 i get caught by so many trappers it's embarrassing <laughs> I'm just so impatient. It's like with the the traps in in the Khmer Temple. It's like the little I, I just, swords and stuff. Yeah, I just I have no patience anymore. I played this game so many times. Ugh, those things. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gee, I wonder. Oh my god. Yep. Was he in that? No, it's 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 like a voodoo doll basically. Oh. Is the idea, I think. Dispel. And this is the first time we need to use um and now we need to actually use uh, a five point spell. The obnoxious thing is Spells that you already have don't automatically upgrade to five point. So you, you have need to, to re manually re input the runes. Okay. So, like, I need to re input. I can't just go to Dispel Magic and select five with five points. I mm -hmm. need to, to choose it manually first and then I can. Gotcha. Yeah. This is a little obnoxious. It's not a. It's not a deal breaker, but it's, you know, it's just one of those things. Oh god, no, he's dead! I totally didn't see that coming! Alone against the darkness. No. Again. Story of, yeah. You are a clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive, you seek them out, and this is what you find. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think of? When he finds a viper's nest of heresy. When he finds the very source of corruption. I think of irony. Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. And that you stand for evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. After we have broken your frail body and mind in the name of our true lord, Zelatov. Come, my children. 
Feast on this morsel, and let us return to our preparations. Sword? Yep. Yes. Whack him with it. Whack. I like its little screams. Yeah. Die. Especially because that means it's dying. Oh, I guess I don't use the meditation rod. At any at any I thought I did. I mean, it's not like I just- I described the effect to you already, it's right. not a hugely important, but... Yeah, I could've- I could've sworn that I- I did. Is so he the only- is Luther the only one who gets it? Yes! Um... Although, uh, they're- there is one of the character who gets a s who gets another sanity restoring uh, item. item like it. Oh no! Don't do it, Paul. You're not a warrior. Oh well. Here we go. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. His kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. <laughs> 